Hi there, Grandmaster Keith Hafner here. My mother, Joanne Hafner, was a prodigious worrier. In a lot of ways, she was a happy person, but she worried about her kids. She worried about what was going on in the neighborhood. She worried about what was going on in the country. She really developed it into an art form. I used to say to her, Mom, stop. This is, this is bad for you. Worry is not, is not healthy. And I, as much as I tried to persuade her, I think she was convinced that she would be remiss if she were not worrying. That that was kind of how she looked after her family, for example, was by worrying about them. We're a bundle of habits, and you may find that a lot of worry has crept in to your operating mechanism, and it's very insidious. It happens, I think, gradually and, and in a way that you're not really aware of. Uh, the cost um, that's involved, the, the price you pay to engage in that kind of negativity. What you want to understand about worry is that, first of all, it's a skill. And like any other skill, the more you practice it, the better you become at it. S skills are not all positive. And you might have a skill of losing your temper or a skill of shooting off your mouth. There are skills in bad things, just like there are skills in good things. And I think worry certainly fits that description. I think another way to understand worry is that it's virulent. It's like a virus and it spreads. And if you entertain, if you indulge in a lot of worry yourself, you train, you cause other people to adopt those same characteristics. What you really need to know about worry is that it pulls toward you the things that you're worried about. Worry is a force. It's a method of attraction. And whatever it is that you're worried about, you kind of have this misunderstanding that you're sort of keeping it at bay by being aware of it and worrying about it. And all the while, that worry is pulling the very thing that you're trying to avoid close to you. Here's what you do. Think accurately and, and, and do a review and, and be really honest with yourself about how often you are indulging in, how often you are practicing the skill of worry. Sort of get a sense of that. But with that in your pocket, the way to get rid of worry is to starve it out. Every time you indulge in it, every time you entertain worry, you are feeding it. And it's like a muscle. It gets stronger. It gets bigger the more you use it. And the way to get rid of it is that you just quit feeding it. And so you've got to be disciplined in your thoughts. And a worried thought will come and you say, shut up. I'm not going to worry about that. I reject that thought. And you'll feel peaceful for about 60 seconds. And then it will suggest itself again to you. But guess what? You just keep doing it. And you do it over and over and over. And after a while, it will give up and it will go away. Might seem like it's kind of hard to do this, but I will point out that it's not as hard as having worry get its hooks into you and cause you to be stressed out, to be anxious, and to have that worry ultimately manifest itself in your physical body. So it's hard to get rid of it, but it's not nearly as hard as to have it. Give it a try.